Faye. Speaker, no child in Canada should ever have to beg for the right to quality education in a safe and comfy school. And the children of Kashechuan are here today to tell this Prime Minister that they're done with the begging. They are tired of the positive words and the broken promises. They are tired of the squalor and the flooding and the children being medevaced out when they're sick. So to the Prime Minister, let's just cut to the chase. What is the financial commitment he will make today to ensure that we get those children off that floodplain and into a safe and comfy school that they deserve? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, no relationship is more important than that with Indigenous peoples, and that's why from the very beginning we invested $8.6 billion over the coming years uh, in making sure that we move towards parity in education. In working with the community of Kishetuan, an interim solution has been found to allow classes to start this week while a longer-term solution is identified. We're supporting the community's request for a long-term modular school solution, and we will be working with them to expedite the project. Kishetuan students remain our priority as we determine next steps, with further updates on the solutions expected later this week. I thank the member opposite for his question. For Timmins, James Bay. An interim solution. You know, this past week, the Prime Minister berated First Nation leaders for wasting his time, and he said it wasn't reconciliation. If he talks to the children of Keshechewan, they will tell him that positive words isn't going to build them a school. That's it right. takes political will. And in their short life, they have seen endless broken promises from government. So now we have the promise of another Band-Aid. So let's cut to the chase. If he won't cost out the price of those Band-Aid solutions, give us the timeline. When is he going to get those children off that floodplain and into a safe and comfy school? Give us that answer now and stop wasting our time. Order, I remind the member for Timmins, James Bay, to direct his comments to the chair. The right honourable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, the road to reconciliation is a long one, but there are immediate steps we can and must be taking, which we are taking. We recognize the need to invest right now in emerging mental health crises, uh, in housing needs, in education needs to help Indigenous uh, students and people right across the country, while at the same time we move forward uh, towards greater rights and recognition, towards greater partnership, towards greater uh, autonomy for Indigenous peoples in this country. That is something that we are on together as a journey. It is one uh, in which we are uh, partners and which we work with respect and openness.